Hi friends, it's Becky, and I'm just popping in real quick on this holiday to do a real quick and easy tutorial with you guys using some of these beads that came in the most recent, meaning the June 2024 dollar bead box. And I'm going to use some of the Czech glass beads that also came in the dollar bead bag. I'm using these silky beads. They are tiles that have sort of diagonal um, holes and they are two whole beads. And then I'm gonna use these cobalt blue four millimeter fire polish beads that came in that box. And I'm going to add some red 11 O's from my bead stash. And we're gonna make ourselves a memory wire bangle using the silky beads, the fire polish, and the 11 O seed beads. Now this is a really quick and easy tutorial. It's a little bit, a little bit uh, higher of a difficulty level than a single uh, loop of memory wire because we're going to be stringing on two loops at once when we do this. So let's get our memory wire cut. And I'm using 20 gauge memory wire for this. Um, there we go. Separating that out. It's just silver color. You can use any color that you want. I'm going to be using my memory wire cutters to cut the memory wire. I uh, I do not ruin my <laughs> flush cutters anymore with memory wire because I got these and they were pretty cheap and I use them whenever I use this and I saved my uh, my other wires from having to be used for that. I'm also going to be using just the smallest um, loop on my one step, or not one step loopers, they are uh, six step bail making pliers. So it's just the smallest loop, but I'm going to be using that with my memory wire to make a little stopper loop on the ends. All right, so I'm going to need two lengths of memory wire that are the same length. And I want to make sure that when they are on my wrist, there's a little bit of an overlap. So I'm going to cut this bit of memory wire right here. And then I'm gonna line these two ends up and find where it matches this second part and cut that there. I'm gonna put a link to where I got these if you are interested in getting some memory wire cutters. Like I said, they are very useful and I use them a lot. All right, so now I've got my two lengths of memory wire and they're gonna be running in parallel with each other as we go through this. Um, I did a similar bracelet with some silky beads that I got in um, the Beads to Live By curated collections last year, but I didn't use fire polish beads in that one. It was just silkies and 11 O's. And I can put a link to that video in the description below if you would like to see it. but it was after I had done an unboxing, so this is probably gonna be easier for you to follow when we do this. So I'm gonna take the ends of my memory wire right here, and I want a little stopper loop, so I'm gonna take my six-step bail making pliers, squish the end between here, and I'm going to twist this around until that loop goes around twice like that. Actually, one more time. There we go. That way you won't have any rough edges against your skin when you're wearing it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other wire. This does take some hand strength. All right. 
There we go. All right. Now on each of these, I'm going to put two 11 O's. And that's just so that the end of the first silky isn't protruding too far. Whoop, let's keep going all the way around. And it is entirely possible that you'll have to pick up some of these beads to put them on them because trying to pick them up with the end of the wire can sometimes be a little bit problematic when they are like this. Okay. Now I'm going to have each end of both of these wires go through one of the holes in the silkies. So each wire goes through a hole. So both holes on the silkies are gone through like that. Then we can slide it down. There we go. Down there. And then I'm going to do two seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two seed beads on each of these ends of the wire. So I'm going to keep that one out of the way and pick up two 11 O's, one fire polish bead, and two 11 O's. Scooch them down. And then the other one, I'm going to pick up two 11 O's, one fire polish bead, and two 11 O's. Scooch that down. And then I'm going to put on another silky bead. And then I'm just going to repeat this until I get pretty close to the end. I'm going to want enough um, wire left over that I can do that double loop that I did on the other side too. So just keep going until you have mm, about a half an inch of wire left on the ends. And do your repeats until you get there. And I will meet you back here when I'm done with that. Okay, so once you get to the end, you wanna make sure you end at the same part in the pattern as where you began. So I've got my silky and then just two of these red beads. Now some variations with this is this is just going to be like a single loop type memory wire bracelet. It's gonna hang out right there, centrifugal force could make it fall off. I'm not going to be doing any wild gesticulating with my hands though, so I'm okay leaving it at just this. You could put a, um, a jump ring on each of these loops and then add another jump ring to connect both of those two jump rings and then attach a clasp and that'll keep it on even though centrical forces may be present because how many of us have not been a victim of physics? I have been, that's for sure. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's an option also because I've only used half of the silkies that came in the box. I have enough here to make a whole other bracelet. You could, instead of doing a single loop, well, it's two loops, but it makes a single loop bracelet. Instead of doing that, you could cut your initial um, memory wire loops to go around twice. And then you could just have a bracelet that wraps all the way around your wrist twice and you just keep doing the same pattern all the way through to the end. And then when you're done and you're ready to go here, pick up your bail making pliers again and start curling. Let's move that out of the way. Curling these loops in just right here on the end. Just keep curling it until it gets all the way up to those seed beads. Come on, buddy. There you go. And maybe, maybe that's a lot of curling. But yeah, I just wanted to share this super quick, super easy bracelet tutorial with you. While I was taking a break <laughs> from my festivities, I hope all of y'all are having a fantastic holiday if you are in the United States and have the day off. 
Hope you are being safe, and I hope you are having a great time. All right. Almost done. We'll just do it again for this second one. It's a little bit fiddly. That's okay. I can handle these fiddly bits. Maybe I should turn it the other way so that it's not so awkward for me. You know? Oof. There we go. And I just want to point out too that while I'm using silky beads for this, oh, that's going to get a little bit in the way. I need to turn it so that I'm just using the tip and it's not in the way from the other loop. There we go. Yeah, you can use any two hole beads and do something similar with, with this. I'm using these because they came recently and it was on my mind. That's what it looks like on. Super easy to put on, super easy to get off. I'm gonna put a link to where you can get the dollar bead box if you want, where you can get these where you can get some of these, and I hope y'all have a fun and safe and happy holiday. Happy beating!